Hi everyone, today I want to introduce with you all the type of carcinogens that can lead to cancer. Have you ever wondered about the existence of carcinogen and how they can always surround us? We are around carcinogens every day, whether at work, at home, or at play. Carcinogens do not cause cancer in everyone who is exposed. The ability of a carcinogen to cause cancer depends on many factors, including the amount of exposure, the length of exposure, health of individual, and other factors in the person's life. There are many types of carcinogens. First is the most serious carcinogen which is known as tobacco. The second one is the radon followed by asbestos. The fourth is air pollution and the last one is air radiation. Tobacco smoke has at least 70 chemicals that cause cancer. Every time you breathe in that smoke, those chemicals get into your bloodstream, and damage your DNA. Damaged DNA can make cells grow differently from how they are supposed to. These unusual cells can turn into cancer. Smokeless tobacco products, such as dipping and chewing tobacco, can cause the esophagus, mouth, throat, and pancreas cancer too. Radon is a colorless, odorless, radioactive gas. It forms naturally from the decay of radioactive elements, such as uranium, usually found in soil and rock. This gas can move into the air, underground water and surface water. It normally found at very low levels in outdoor air and in drinking water from rivers and lakes. But it found at higher levels in the air of houses and other buildings. Being exposed to radon for a long period of time can lead to lung cancer. Radon gas in the air breaks down into tiny radioactive elements. This radon progeny can lodge in the lining of the lungs, can damage lung cells and eventually lead to lung cancer. Exposure to the combination of radon gas and cigarette smoke creates a greater risk for lung cancer than either factor alone. Asbestos can be found in certain chemicals used in homes or workplaces. The term asbestos cancer most often refers to mesothelioma. Several other malignancies are linked to asbestos exposure including lung cancer, ovarian cancer and cancer of the voice box. Many people have a sense that if a chemical could cause cancer, it would not be allowed in homes. Unfortunately, asbestos cancers are caused by inhaling or swallowing microscopic asbestos fibers. When exposed them over a period of time, some of the airborne fibers can become lodged within alveoli's causing the lungs to become stiff. The World Health Organization has classified air pollution as a human carcinogen. And it is a leading cause of cancer deaths globally. Air pollution can be caused by different factors. Breathing in larger sizes of particle pollution can irritate your eyes, nose and throat, but our natural defenses help us to cough or sneeze them out. Breathing in smaller particles are more dangerous because it will be trapped deep in the lungs and can even get into the bloodstream, causing damage to our health. Both radiations used medically for diagnostic tests and those used to treat cancer are considered carcinogens. For example women who receive radiation therapy for breast cancer are at an increased risk of developing lung cancer due to the carcinogenicity of radiation. Next, is the chemotherapy drugs and hormonal therapy. For example, some of the chemotherapy drugs, such as cytoxin, used to treat women with early-stage breast cancer may lead to leukemia.